اللهم صل على محمد وعلى محمد الحمد لله today we have been given the opportunity to come to this place in Iraq which is about 40 to 50 kilometers from Najaf uh, it is a place uh, known as Hira uh, and uh, we have uh, rawayat and narrations that when Imam Hassan Islam and Imam Hussain Islam uh, when they were coming from Medina uh, to Amir al Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib al Islatu Wasalam, on the way to Kufa, uh, Imam Hassan and Imam Hussain al Islatu they spent a night at this spot. Uh, and uh, this building behind us, you can see uh, that uh, they have a place inside for ibadat which. Uh, 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 we find uh, from narrations that uh, Imam Hassan and Imam Hussain uh, when they spend the night here they spend the night doing the zikr and the ibadat of Allah uh, and this is that place uh, known as Hira uh, and uh, on, the, on my right hand side uh, this place here uh, as you can see all around us this is a desert uh, but this place here this has turned to stone uh, uh, the reason uh, that have, we have been told is that, uh, uh, as you know, in Iraq they, they drink uh, kahwa. Uh, and when Imam Hassan Islatu uh, was drinking the tea, uh, the little bit which was left over, the companions, uh, they threw the tea uh, on the floor. And this area uh, around where the tea was spilt, uh, that has uh, turned to stone and the color of the sand has turned to a, a tea color, to a kahwa color. Uh, the local people here, uh, they use this uh, uh, sand uh, that is around the stone uh, and it is known locally that it holds uh, properties of Shifa. And also, uh, because this is a desert, there is no water which is available here locally and if we walk to my left uh, from where this maqam is there is a chashma and there is a water fountain uh, and uh, the narration is that when Imam Hassan and Imam Hussain Salatu Islam when they spent the night here there was no water here and with the izan and the hukam of Imam Hassan Ali Salatu Wasalam uh, this water started flowing from the earth and inshallah I will show you this. This is known as uh, the Chashma of Imam Hassan, uh, the well of Imam Hassan Salatu Wasalam. Uh, locally these people, uh, they take water from here. Uh, it has uh, properties of Shifa. Many people have been cured uh, with many problems that they have uh, and they had. Uh, and now they have gone away just because of the nisbat of Imam Hassan and uh, as you can see they, they, this place is still under construction uh, they have made this small chashma this small well type here uh, and as you can see the, the water uh, people take this water from here uh, and many people have gained shifa many people uh, who had problems uh, uh, in their skin um, the illnesses and their problems have been cured by just drinking and touching this water. And Alhamdulillah, it is our Iman and our Yaqeen uh, that anything which is uh, uh, attributed towards Ali Muhammad, anything which is attributed towards uh, the family of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it has Shifa. Because these are those personalities who will intercede for us on the day of judgment insha'Allah and everything that you see in Iraq everything is attached with Ali Muhammad wassalam. and insha'Allah we will make our way down uh, and we will try to get a closer glimpse of this water uh, and insha'Allah we will be taking this water from here as well uh, for, for Mu'mineen as well and as you can see this is uh, uh, the Chishma of Imam Hassan, the well of Imam Hassan uh, and inshallah uh, every single Mu'min, Mu'mineen and Mu'minat should come to this place uh, because these places as you all know that uh, uh, 
uh, in the time of Saddam, uh, people were prohibited uh, to come into places that were attributed with Ali Muhammad al-Islam. And now, alhamdulillah, the, the scene of Iraq is changing. People are coming uh, more towards Ali Muhammad because they have no restriction. And inshallah, a day will come that every single place which is attributed with Ali Muhammad, inshallah, they will become uh, open ziyarats uh, for people to come. And this is that place where Imam Hassan Islam and Imam Hussain Islam spent the night. Uh, and inshallah, uh, we will also go inside, we will pray two rakat namaz. And uh, just uh, on the right, as I said, the place where the tea was spilled, we will walk over to that place and we will also see that place which is uh, attributed towards Ali Muhammad. And uh, as you can see, many of these people that are here, they are from Lebanon, they are from Beirut. A few Pakistanis come, the local Iraqi people from this village, Hira. Uh, Divania, Nasiriya, all the local people come here. And as you can see, uh, that people are taking away the tabarrakat of Ali Muhammad. People are taking things from here with the near that because Ali Muhammad have come here, we will gain shifa from this. Uh, and as you can see, uh, that people are taking this sand from here because they believe it has shifa and alhamdulillah many people have been cured because of this and inshallah we will do the ziyarat of this maqam as well uh, and we all pray that may Allah azwajal for the sake of Ali Muhammad and that may Allah accept our ziyarats, may Allah accept our duas, may Allah accept our zikr and may Allah keep us all steadfast on the vilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib wasalam. May Allah forgive my sins and the sins of my forefathers. And may Allah accept all your du'as for those moments that are watching this video. And I pray that may you all get the chance to come and visit these maqamats and do the ziyarat of all those places that are attributed with Ali Muhammad al-Islam. And as you can see, this is that place that is attributed with uh, Imam Hassan Islam. And if you look far, uh, that is where the border of Hijaz, the border of Saudi Arabia is. It's, it is about 600 and 700 kilometers from here. Uh, and this is a route from uh, Saudi Arabia to Iraq. And from here, they went to Kufa. Inshallah, may Allah Azawajal hasten the reappearance of our 12th Imam. Imam Sahib al Asrib al Zaman, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad wa salamun alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.